an old prosaic story but i will continue where i have left the story the question related when one travels into one's consciousness one can connect with the universal consciousness in mysteries as well as truth is revealed about past and future events this is a complex matter number 1 it is like you are sitting in front of x-ray machine or mri it reveals everything about your internal system but if you do not know the art of deciphering it it will not be meaningful to you and how do you connect to the universal consciousness this is also a technique you have to be open moment to moment to see how the functioning takes place you go to a supermarket you have your basket full of groceries and items cashier takes one by one and scans through and as soon as the item is scanned the entire information and the price structure comes and she continues to cash the item in the process if there is a mistake or you decide not to take one item which has already been cashed then cashier has to hold on she cannot delete that item that has surfaced on the screen she has to go to the next stage and call her supervisor that password although the program is the same the point of sale program but the ordinary cashier does not have the access beyond a particular level so she calls the supervisor supervisor comes and uses the password and with that the person is able to delete it is a very dangerous process if all the levels are given to the ordinary cashier cashier have only access to use a level 1 of that program not the level 2 there may be other levels also which are not accessible by even the supervisors you have seen in the banks there is a ordinary teller is a banking accounting program in each of these programs there are different levels and the authority is given the access is given to the people at certain level ordinary persons are not given the access in something like that happens the akashic records the cosmic realm almi hakayat is like cyber space everything is there but you cannot access your emails are there and all the emails are there but you can access only your email but if you forget the password you cannot enter into your cyber space whenever you enter into but how do you enter an ordinary person does not have an access to that realm because it is very delicate i had given you example during your young age you had courted with different people had some intimate relations and if somehow destiny and now you are married and settled in a particular area and one morning you get up for a walk and you happen to realize two of your neighbors are the old spouses with, with whom you had intimate relations how would you manage your life now there will be a chaos so when an individual is born first of all nothing is destroyed on the body disappears but all the thoughts emotions at the level of the mind they stay they live on 
that is why one does not attain to nirvana. Nirvana means cessation at the level of the body, at the level of the mind, and at the level of the spirit. Buddha entered into nirvana in three stages. First, body disappeared, then mind disappeared, then everything disappeared. So such a person will not come back. Now when you come back, you can take another example. The person was working in the office. He worked for a certain period of time. He is a novice. He is given an access to a certain type of work. He leaves the work, he comes back. He has to start afresh because during that period of time the technology has changed. You are given only that much information that you can handle on your own, which will not cause chaos in your life. Just as seeing those two persons with whom you had intimate relation at physical and emotional level, and those who have abandoned them, and now they appear on the screen as your neighbor. How would you reconcile? The information is flooded into your consciousness in such a way that you cannot handle that. So when an individual is born, in the process of birth, all the past memories are deleted. You come back with a new screen. But you have consciousness through which you can begin your journey in such a way that you do not leave anything incomplete. Otherwise that will continue to linger in your consciousness and your process of meditation continues. You attain to various stages and then with that your password begins to change. Sometimes if it is necessary in the process of growth, you are given the glimpses through your unconscious of the past events. But you remember the time does not move backward. Time does not have a reverse gear. It has only forward gear and it moves in that direction only. But sometimes the past events are necessary for the process of growth. There are certain ailments which are the outcome of the past. For instance, the breathing patterns, the, the shortening of the breath, asthma, they are the outcome of fear. Somewhere in your past, a fear was instilled in you and because of that, you develop that kind of ailment. So everything has a connection with the past. If it is necessary and you are sincere in that, in your approach towards transformation of human consciousness, you are given the glimpses of those. But as I said, only that much which you can handle. Otherwise, if too much information floods into you, you may get into a state of madness. This is what chaos is. When you go be below the mind, a madman is one who has gone out of the mind, but his consciousness has gone below the mind. An awakened one is the one whose consciousness has transcended beyond the mind. He has attained to the state of no mind. He is free from emotions. He has not blackened the whiteness of his heart with writing so many things. Instead, he has wiped out all that was written on it. Then that particular information will not create a problem and you can handle it on your own. Existence releases the information according to your capacity. Just as Depending on your experience, sincerity and loyalty in a particular rank, you are given the access to different passwords. In the banks, in the offices, where secret information is kept, not all the pass levels are given to ordinary people. 
in the same way in a spiritual journey only that much you can access which will not create a chaos into you if all the mysteries are known to you you will not be able to sustain that you will get completely maddened lala ji used to narrate an incident that in the area where he was living there was a, he heard of a young boy who was living in chains because he used to run behind the for the fulfillment of his physical urges of sex he used to run behind women first and when that was not accessible to him then he started running behind the animals the reason was that he was connected this was revealed by Maulana Fazl Ahmed Khan with whom Lala ji spent 16 years continuously being nourished and nurtured by his consciousness it was Maulana Fazl Ahmed Khan who told him let us go to that person and in his company in the first session something happened he was calm down second session he was able to recognize him and after three sessions or so he was completely cured he said he went to a master who was not complete and he did not have the capacity to take the seeker through various stages and that is why it is very difficult when it comes to the spiritual journey not everyone it is very attractive if i put it as a profession and more so when you are getting the respect monetary gains and things like these you get a recognition that you are a guru a master but with that a lot of responsibility comes how are you taking an individual seeker through his journey through his various layers of unconsciousness the program is the same the point of sale program is the same but the cashier has an access to scan the item and as the cashier scans the item the item comes on that he does the total she enters the amount and finishes that transaction this is a simple operation the second stage which is that of supervisor if there comes a mistake committed they are on the spot available as soon as a mistake happens the cashier calls the supervisor comes and uses her password and allows the access where that particular item that has been entered into the register can be deleted if it, that access was given to the cashier who is doing the point of sale there may be a possibility of fraud the person at the end of the day every day in each transaction she can delete an item and then embezzle that money so that access is not given to her but to the supervisor who has more responsibility and then then there may be the levels of that this is how we can draw the parallels from day to day life and understand the deeper mysteries of existence one should not be concerned about this instead one should be more concerned about one's own growth as you are continuing automatically as you are coming to the end of one semester you naturally graduate into the other and the process continues you journey through various stages you attain to various muqamats or latayafs or stations as sufis call it and ultimately you attain to fana and then it becomes easier nothing can impede you even if the information is flooded in front of you it will not destroy you in any way this was necessary to speak on that aspect it does not happen on its own you have to gain enter deeper into meditation 
This information is not allowed to happen to an access is not allowed. If your password is wrong, access is denied. And the password comes through meditation. Now we continue on love and old prosaic story. If you have any more questions arising in your mind in relation to what is spoken, you can send a note and I will try to speak again according to my own understanding and the awareness that has been given to me by the Masters. Love is an old story. Nothing is new in it. It is always old and same pattern and everybody repeats the same thing in one way or the other. Nothing new ever happens in love. It is just a groove and remains a fringe. Therefore, a few things have to be understood. Love is always beautiful and fragrant in the beginning, very rarely beautiful in the middle and almost never beautiful in the end. That is the whole process of love. So there are two ways. One is to go on changing the partners. Each time you think that beginning is ending, change immediately. That is one way. And is that the best way? The moment you feel the love is no more, the same and the same as if it used to be that the honeymoon is over, you change the partner. Then again you are at the beginning and you can go on changing but you never grow like that. You are always on the go but never gain momentum and no flowers blossom. The flowers of love take a very long time to grow. You need patience for flowers of love to grow. The East uses the trick to get married to a person with whom you are not in love. Then there is, then there will be no bad ending because there is no beginning. It is just finished from the very beginning. It has ended before it begins. That is what the East has done to love. But both the Eastern and Western ways are meaningless. There is a third possibility. Accordingly, to be in love, but not to start thinking of marriage. That is what you did. You started thinking of making a home, then you are getting into trouble, the old fear begins. Be in love as birds and animals are in love. Be in love but do not start thinking of settling. Settling is very unsettling because once you start settling the romance is over. The ordinary life is so heavy that it crushes the flower of romance and kills it. But there is another possibility that I will go into. Once you start settling, small things become very important and love becomes secondary. How to manage for money and where to purchase a house, how to manage for furniture and these things become more important while love becomes secondary. These things are infinite. Life is, list is long and love comes only at the end and so it never comes. By the time you are finished with the house and the money and the furniture, you are falling asleep. By and by you completely forget that you were trying to make this house to love this woman or man. So do not do that again, remember it. Always keep a distance between the person you love and yourself. There is no need to settle. Settling means that you have started taking the other for granted. That is meaning of being a wife and a husband and the other is taken for granted. I have heard and this incident I have seen. Whilst traveling in a train, the journey was long train was full of passengers, two people were sitting opposite one another. So they started a conversation. So they first asked the other, where are you going? He said, I am going to Seattle. Oh, you are going to Seattle? Yes, yes, I am also going there. 
Where do you live? I live in New York. Oh, me too live in New York. Oh, really? Like that they continued and they were closing in. Then it happened in the conversation they revealed, Oh, Seattle, that's a lovely place. I have been to that place. Which place are you going? Oh, there's a zip code. I am also going in the same zip code. How coincidence we are going in the same zip code. And where do you live in New York? I live in Long Island. Oh, me too live in Long Island. Oh, really? Which area? Finally, it boils down two of them living in the same house and going to the same place. So someone who was hearing them together, they, they he got curious listening to the conversation of the two. It was quite interesting the way they were in tuning and speaking. Oh, yes, I also live there. So they found out both of you live in the same town, same area, same house and going to the same place. What is this all about? The man said, we are father and son and we like to talk. So we don't need any topic. We can just make a take any topic and start talking about it. So the journey was long. So we had to continue entertainment. So I continued the entertainment this way, this is one way also. You can enjoy the small things. The small things start enjoying. Oh, where we are going? The same place? Oh, really? Oh, which car are you going with? Oh, that car. Oh, that nice. I also, I am also going with the same car. But if you, Khalil Gibran spoke of distance in love in his novel, Prophet. A woman comes hugging a babe to her breast. Master, what about love and meditation? Almitra asks a question and Al Mustafa says, Let there be distance in love. How can there be distance in love? Distance in love is very important. Ravindana Tagore talks about distance in marriage in one of his works. This happens when you are open and you can relate this thing to that. Although they were separated by time and space, but what Ravindranath Tagore wrote and what Khalil Gibran wrote, there is a coincidence. Just as to complete that transaction in the supermarket, a part was accessed by the point of sale cashier, the other by the supervisor two people and the transaction was completed because of the two. In the same way when Khalil Gibran spoke of distance in love, Rabindranath Tagore completes in his story. He narrates a story. A rich girl was in love with a poor boy. The girl had an orchard with a stream flowing through. The one day the boy told that I am in love with you and I would like to get married to you. The girl said that is beautiful idea we can get married. I have an orchard. It's a beautiful a stream flows through the orchard. On the other side of the stream I have my house. On the other side of the stream I build the house for you. You live in your house, I live in my house. Sometimes I invite you to my house. Other times you invite me to yours. Sometimes we will walk through the orchard holding hands, other times we will sail through the stream or meet on the bridge. We can invite one another to our homes. Certainly you live in your house, I live in my house. When two people are living together, they start taking one another for granted. Trivia begins over the shoes like the color of the walls, design of the house, furniture color of the curtains and sheets, etc. Each has his own choice about these things. How these issues can be resolved when two people are living together, it is better that there is a distance in love. One is free for the deco of his choice. You are only lovers if you do not take the other for granted. Being in love means you have to seduce the other person every day. However, you cannot take the other for granted. Do you not? You do not have the property right 
you will have to persuade the other so the queen continues and that is what is needed in love once things have settled you have known that you possess this woman and the woman knows that she possesses you then through that possessiveness all sort of jealousies anger hatred fight and other things arise when you have reduced the other to your possession then you cannot then you can use at will but man and woman cannot be reduced to a commodity but it is a very hard to follow this pattern this is what happens in each marriage then boredom and many other problems arise sometimes it happens that marriage becomes simple the dominant one controls everything or there is a mutual agreement one can find one's own model to say look all the matters relating to the house you deal i have nothing to do with it the way you want to decorate the house the way you want to do you have complete freedom to about the color of the walls patterns designs this and that and so that is not my concern but as far as the outer life is concerned where should i walk where should i not walk that should remain my concern someone the each one of us one of you has to find your own pattern how you can create the balance my room my office i would like to have it my way the car that i drive somewhere or the other the model can be determined by each one of you then you are not repeating the pattern that you have learned from your parents and she has learned from her parents remember one thing you do not know what your mother did when she fell in love also you do not know what your father did when he fell in love but certainly you know that know what they did when they were settled you know them as husband and wives you have not known them as lovers this is something very important to understand you cannot repeat things when you are a lover however when you become a husband or a wife and a householder then you know and you have only one program your mind is broken friendship is always good it is more civilized than love let there be friendship blossom and to remain like a friends and lover someone had recently told me the person is buying a house i said it is good you buy your house decorate it according to your own the person is not married as yet you buy and decorate the house according to your own liking and let your boyfriend or husband boyfriend has his own house so you are financially secured and independent of one another when you get married maybe for 6 months you rent your house and leave your boyfriend's house or husband's house then the following 6 months you do the otherwise so it is not that you are taking one another for granted earlier on what according to the indian system we used to pool our resources the one account husband and wife handling it together then there is a fight to over it no you maintain your account yourself i maintain my account myself if i need to give you something i do you do so these are the trivial matters over which love becomes prosaic so whatever things that may cause the problems we understand those this is why it was said that we never emphasize on the education of the girls they were considered as subservient their job was in the house but now things are changing they are excelling in many fields along with men their male counterparts 
but understanding is very important and if you are meditative you can design your own model of marriage it is you can take examples from the others but you can design your own model and that will be your customized model of marriage the male female relation where love remains alive and if there is a disturbance or breakdown at that level then the spiritual journey becomes difficult and also it becomes lopsided let us understand it and you have to remember that you are going to have a complete discontinuity with the past what is our heritage we have learned the things from our father and mother your father was your role model in case of the girl her father was a role model and the first man that comes in the life of a woman is her father and she wants her husband to be like her father and the first woman that comes in contact with a man is his mother in sociology there is complex that is called oedipus complex he loved his mother so much that he murdered his father and got married to his mother that is a rare phenomenon but that is known in sociology as oedipus complex but you remember you cannot love your father the way your mother loves it you cannot love your mother the way your father loves it so failure comes in you have to understand and everyone seeks in his spouse the image of his mother which is not there and every woman seeks the image of her father in her husband or boyfriend which is not there treat discontinue with the past your father had lived a life in one way try to pick up what was his good points and where he faltered and then you design your own model the assistance will come to you through your meditation life will become a beauty and this is what the outcome of the meditative insights the meditation